www.cpaforthepeople.com or call at area code 630-244-7893. Youthful Savings creates and delivers innovative financial education products through a virtuous approach in order to disrupt the cycle of poverty. We provide affordable college planning solutions through our Financial Freedom web application and program, youth financial education and entrepreneurship training through our My Own Business Challenge curriculum and program and group youth programs that teach entrepreneurship and financial education. Ten cents of every dollar earned is reinvested into the community saved through the youth college scholarships. For more information, please go to www.youthfulsavings.com. Email at info at youthfulsavings.com or call 646 504 Seven one six four. You say you need to lose weight for the holidays or just to stay healthy. Nothing seems to be working except frustration. The wait is over. Order your organic detox tea and resolution drops from the Weight Is Over company and start feeling better by shedding pounds. Not all detox systems are the same. Listen to those who have used the tea with fantastic results. Visit her website, totallifechanges.com forward slash 4219711 to get all the information you need to feeling better. Drink two cups a day and you too can lose five pounds in five days. Call today 954 696 8330 and listen to testimonials about proper weight loss using the T. Ask about the opportunity to earn $50,000 by Christmas with a total life changes business opportunity. Call today 954 696 8330 and change your life today. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Alexandra Bello Productions presents Artistic Times Radio with Alexandra Bello, covering art events, museums, festivals, and music. We have interviews of artists, celebrities, musicians, writers, and more. Learn about South Florida happenings and discover art firsthand while enjoying red carpets, fashion shows, and press conferences from the hand of our host, Alexandra Bello. Tune in on WNN. 147 every Tuesday night at 7:30 and on my website ABP TV. Now, it's about to get artistic in here. Hi guys, how are you? I look like I just came from the beach. Look at me. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? You're Regina? dancing. Yeah, no, You're dancing but, but on the it's beach. like the the braids, right? With the, with the braids and Yeah, like... yeah, from friends. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Well, this is probably the second or third time that you guys see me without makeup. You know that, that I'm in the process of moving, so I don't even know where my makeup is right now. But um, I am here because, you know, I take this very, very seriously. I love the radio show, Artistic Times. I love the opportunity that I have gotten here. And I love what I do and, and always have people across from me like Rachel Galvin today that are always amazing people that have so much to share with others and talented, hardworking people. So tonight we have Rachel Galvin here with us. Hi. I'm here, yes. And, um, you know, the show, it's, it's like a film carpet edition. Every time I have a film carpet edition show... I bring Rachel because Rachel is the Associated Press for the show. She writes on it on, on her magazine. Mm -hmm. She tries to write on it on The Observer and things like that. And um, always gives us support. She goes, takes pictures. And also she is part of the of the spin-off of this show, which was the original show, Artistic Times TV. She is the she's actually the host for Artistic Time TV. Mm -hmm. And we have it on Vimeo. We have a couple of episodes out. So go check them out. Like them. Um, Rachel is also the publisher for Independent Street Magazine, and we're going to be talking about that as well. So, Rachel, why don't we start with what's happening in South Florida? Okay. Inform me. Well, there's always something going on in South Florida, tons of local talent doing wonderful things. But really what the buzz is about is the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival, which will be coming up just around the corner on November 6th. It starts and it runs through the 22nd. And that's always huge. And this year's even bigger because it's their 30th anniversary. And I have the magazine here. I have plenty of those magazines yes. at home in my car. It's beautiful. Um, they have a lot of stars coming in. And they always have parties. And pretty much every event, every movie has a party associated with it this year. They've really gone all out. 
Um, the films are mostly Cinema Paradiso in Fort Lauderdale and also their Hollywood location, but also over in Sunrise, they have a location there that they're doing some events at as well. But um, it starts out, there's three opening night films this year. I think that's the first time that's happened. Uh, we have Where to Invade Next by Michael Moore. Wow. <laughs> Wow. And th this is supposed to be a little bit different than his normal films, but that's happening at the Hard Rock at 7 o'clock, and that's on November 6th. And after that, at 9 o'clock, is the movie Jocko, which is about Jocko Pistorius, who those are that are in the music world would know who he is. He kind of redefined the sound of the electric uh, bass guitar, and he will be there with his... I'm sorry, he won't be there because he's not alive anymore, unfortunately, but his family will be there, and um, also the producers... Robert Trujillo and Paul Marchand, I believe is the correct pronunciation of the names. And Robert was, is actually the basis for Metallica. Mm -hmm. So anybody that's involved in the music industry would probably want to go out to this film. Mm -hmm. And that's, again, at 9 o'clock at the Hard Rock to see Jocko. And it's basically a documentary about his life mm -hmm. and the influence he had on music. And uh, it's supposed to be very compelling. But at the same time, which I'm excited about, Christopher Lloyd which you'll know from Back to the Future, is going to be at Cinema Paradiso in Fort Lauderdale at the same time at 8 o'clock, um, the same day. And he's doing a film called The Boat Builder, where he plays a curmudgeon character who kind of builds a relationship against all odds with an orphan. So it's kind of one of those types of films. Like you think of the movie Up, the, the animated movie Up, it's sort of that kind of scenario, I believe. So that movie's called The Boat Builder at 8 o'clock, also on November 6th. And he's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. And there's a ton of people getting Lifetime Achievement Awards this year. He's one of them. And that will be presented that evening. Also getting an award is Loretta Swit, Hot Lips from MASH. She is going to be narrating a film called Never the Same, The Prisoner of War Experience, which mm -hmm. is a documentary. And that's going to be shown November 11th at 3.30 p.m. at the Hollywood location for Cinema Paradiso. And she's supposed to be there getting her award. And also there's going to be a MASH party, which is going to be fun. And you can find out about all the events and the parties and stuff on the website, too. Um, in addition, Amy Madigan and her husband, Ed Harris, are coming. They're going to be getting Lifetime Achievement Awards on the 21st at a special event that's being held at The Diplomat. Candy Clark, who was in American Graffiti, will be getting an award <coughs> on November 14th. Um, and also Estelle Parsons, who was in Bonnie and Clyde will be getting an award that same day over in Sunrise. So all of them. And then also Gil Bellows is coming, which I'm very excited about. He was in Ally McBeal and Shawshank Redemption. You take one look at him, you know you've seen him in something. <laughs> so he's going to be here for a film he's in called Three Days in Havana. And he'll be here on November 7th at 9 p.m. at the Hollywood location and also on November 8th at 8.30 p.m. in the Fort Lauderdale location. So, and I'm hoping I get to interview him ahead of time. I'm Amazing. working on that right now. But um, all of these people, I'm going to try to be writing about what's happening in my magazine in the November issue, which I hope to have out the first or the second of November. Yeah. And that's always available. You can see all of the archives for that at independentstreakmagazine.com. And you can see everything. Also, there's uh, a centerpiece film, Silver Skies, which might bring back George Hamilton. Um, and then also the uh, closing night film, The Wannabe, is happening. So all of there's always lots of events going on, lot, just tons of stuff. It's like nonstop. That's good. <laughs> I, that's good. I'm actually going to be participating in a lot yeah. of red carpets. Mm -hmm. um, um, Michelle was kind enough to invite me to a lot of the events happening, and I'm going to be coming and bringing friends to the events. Whoever wants to go is invited. If you come with me, you're gonna come into the party and you're gonna be able to take selfies with me on the red carpet and every guest all night. So let me know if you are uh, a woman and you're a model because she, yeah, she doesn't, you know, no, no guys. I am <laughs> riding around with women only and we can, you know, dress up, get, get our dresses on and just take selfies, document what's happening and kind of like give it an extra push for the people that couldn't make it to watch what's going on. Mm -hmm. Also, for independent filmmakers, there's an excellent thing happening. Um, the director, Bobby Roth, is doing a master class, and this is huge. He's basically showing three out of his ten episodes that he has 
um, called a director prepares. Yeah. And it's fifteen dollars, and you go in, and I think they're giving you breakfast and lunch with that. Wow. It's, it's amazing, and that's happening. Where is that? um, I believe it's at Cinema Paradiso in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And that's November fourteenth at ten a.m. is when it starts. Okay. So check that out again. Everything's on the Fliff website, which is www.fliff.com, and you can see everything there. And just be aware that things change, so keep an eye on it, just in case there's any last-minute changes. Yeah. And look for all those parties and things that are going on. And there's a lot of locals that have films, too, like my friend Robert Adonto, yes. who's done some great art films. Yes. The great thing about him is that he combines art with culture, and he really shows how... The culture has changed through the art and how art has changed the culture, and it's great. So his newest film is called The F Word, and I have to say it's a bit on the risque side. I've seen parts of it already, and um, it's definitely interesting, but I've seen all of his films, and they're all really interesting. You have to really have a, a, a distinct taste, you know, like something like that. You have to view it from an artistic discerning eye. And just know there's going to be some things that are going to shock you and pull you out of your comfort zone. And just look at it very academically, I guess is what I would say. Okay. Um, but he did uh, Pearls on the Ocean Floor, which was about Iranian artists, women artists, mm -hmm. and showing the change from before the revolution and after, which was really compelling. Um, he did a film on Katrina. He's done a film about changes in China. Um, some of the new technology with art. I mean, he really delves in and he goes to all these places, so it's great. We have Sharon yeah. on the phone. One oh, second. Great. Sharon, how are you? Hi, Alexandra. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Um, thank you for calling. Hi. Nice. Hi, is Rachel there? I am yes. here. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hi. It's Sharon Pfeiffer. Hi, how are you, Char? Very good, good, my love. I'm good. I'm just calling because I was hoping to win a ticket. Yes, my love, you actually get two. So I am oh, writing your name God. down right now. Give me that pen. <laughs> oh Sharon, you God. know you can always go to I any of so my excited. events. You're a supermodel. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to come on Wednesday night and see all my friends and Tom bring Lulu and everybody. with you. I'm super duper excited. Bring Lulu with you so we can interview you guys. What are you up to? Oh my God. Well we're actually Just now, um, we're going to be putting up a YouTube page for Chit and Chat. Oh, good. Um, yeah, uh, we've been we took a little hiatus from the radio show um, just so that uh, Lulu could concentrate on her art. You know, she's a painter. Oh, wow! And you know, so she had to concentrate on that a little bit, and I'm concentrating a little bit more on on my own acting. I have a couple of projects that I'm working on. So we took a little hiatus from the radio show, but it's not permanent. We'll be back. Good. Okay. Um, you know, plus, who can compete with you, <laughs> Alexandra? You know? Nobody, Sharon, but you know what? This is not about competition because you guys are on Wednesday. We are on Mondays. We just support each other and, and you know, walk right next to each other because who yeah, can compete with you guys doing, either? Girl. I love what you're doing. You're such a good good cheerleader for our business and our industry and thank you just, you are rocking and rolling girl we love what you're doing no and i love what you guys what you ladies do and you know what i cannot wait to have you here on the show as artists because whether you are on hiatus or not you are you ladies are two true artists and i want to have you on the show so let me know on facebook and also you get two tickets for film carpet so i cannot wait to see you there and interview Good. you ladies Do I have to do anything or just say my name when I get there? You just say your name. And if somebody gives uh, you best. any type of number two, mm -hmm. you just you just tell them, I want to see the manager. <laughs> I want to see the manager. And that's me, Alexander. I my ticket. Okay, and, and I'm actually going to be walking around. on your, um, uh, at the Observer being the editor. Oh, yes. Thank you. That's an amazing um, giant leap for you, isn't it? Yes, it's very exciting. It's a lot of work, but I like it. <laughs> yep, Rachel is the... A lot of work, yeah. but kudos to you. It's, it's wonderful for you. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. We're, we're yeah. just, you know, working it's hard. Tough. You know how it is. <laughs> well, listen, I won't keep you. I, I'm sure you have other callers, but 
I, I waited to call. I said, I want to win a free ticket. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you for calling. It's always a, pre a pleasure hearing from you. And I cannot wait to see what you ladies are wearing yes. for the red carpet. Oh, well, you know me. It'll always be a surprise. I know. I know. I saw a picture <laughs> the other day of you. You look beautiful. Thank you, honey. Oh, See you thank Wednesday. you. And you as well. You always look amazing. Mwah. So bye bye. Yes, you you're quite beautiful, and um, I love your pictures from all your pageants, and Ooh. you know it's always. Hey, listen, you're a beautiful girl. You're so talented, and uh, I'm looking forward to Wednesday. So here, here, have a great show, and. Uh, I'll see you Wednesday. See you Wednesday to give you a big hug, honey. Kisses. Yes, my darling. Yeah, Bye. So let's take lots of pictures. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, that was Chardin um, or Sharon Pfeiffer. Uh, they, have a, they have a show on the EIN network, and they're going to have a YouTube page. And when that happens on my Facebook, I'm going to be putting it on my wall. Just follow me, Alexandra Bello, and I am going to put it on, you know, public. So whether you are my friend or not, you can go to my to my Facebook page and find out what's happening in South Florida or what's hot or what you need to watch. Um, and I will be I always like sharing anything from people that are, you know, walking forward and making things happen. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back to the cinema party. So back to this. Flip. Okay. Um, I was talking about local filmmakers. Also, another friend of mine, Dean Lyon, who's known for his special effects work with Lord of the Rings, Armageddon. I mean, you name it, he's done it. He's producing a film. He likes to work with local film talent. And he's producing a documentary called The $2 Bill Documentary. So anyone who wondered, what are, what are those $2 bills doing? How, where did they come from? Mm -hmm. You know, what is the mythology around them? That's what the film is about. And uh, that's showing, I believe, on, oh boy, what day is that showing? November 6th at uh, 6th and 10th at okay. Cinema Paradiso Hollywood. So All that's right. another film that's showing. There's, there's a ton of And we of have stuff. Vivian Orozco's film. That's right. With yeah. uh, Bobby Rodriguez. Yes, which we, in the unshown. Um, it's between, <laughs> between myth and history. <laughs> and um, yeah, right? <laughs> no, it's, um, it, it was edited and everything. It's just that um, I was waiting for their trailer for a long time. And then I got their trailer and um, it didn't, I, I guess my edit didn't look interesting with everything. So I'm going to hook it up. And it's going to come out because, you know, they're going to be promoting yeah. that film in a lot of film festivals anyways. Uh -huh. So that episode is highlighting them, which is great. And yes. it looks beautiful. Okay, it's just, good. um, no, no, everything looks, everything looks great. Now let's talk about, let's talk about film Carmen for, uh, mm -hmm. for a second. We have been, you know, putting this together for a year and a half now. Um, we are on a fifth edition, which is happening this Wednesday on Cinema Paradiso. It's only $10. Well, If you don't buy tickets right away, you know, and you try to buy them tomorrow, it might be $15 on Eventbrite. And if you show up at the door, it will be $20 cash only. So I just want to remind everyone that if you want to win free tickets, I still have eight tickets left tonight for the people who call uh, for the first five, four callers, because we already got one caller. And I'm going to give each one a ticket uh, for you and your guests. Remember, it's 888 Five six five one four seven zero eight 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 five six five one four seven zero. Now we are going to have a red carpet session at film uh, film carpet, and it's going to be from seven to eight p.m. Uh, we have a couple of um, media outlets attending. We have Bonjour America. We have Set Live Vlog. Um, we have also. I think we have Mundo Fox from West Palm Beach coming. Uh, we have Rachel Galvin here with The Observer and Independent Street Magazine. Um, we also have Dream uh, Vision mm -hmm. um, we, from Port St. Lucie. I think they're coming from Fort I've Myers. Heard of, I've heard of them, I think. Yes, they're going to come and, and do some coverage as well. So we have at least four to five um, outlets that are going to come and cover the event, as well as the internal um PR team that is going to be covering the red carpet. We have Maria Salamis, who is going to be our red carpet host and master of ceremonies. And she's going to be interviewing everybody that submitted something that is an actor or, or um, a key member in the films that are showing or mm -hmm. the trailers that are showing. She is going uh, to be interviewing our celebrity guests as well. We have over 25 celebrity guests attending from South Florida. Um, we have We have um, Young Star that is opening the event. We were doing sound check today at Cinema Paradiso, and I have the video on my Instagram, uh, and and I also have it on my 
Facebook if you want to check how that went. Um, we also have, we have five films that are showcasing the night off. Um, and it's it's very interesting. You know, I am showing something myself. Um, I, I wrote a little song. I mean, the song itself is not going to show all the way because we're still recording process. But I did a documentary about the song. So it's it's called We Are Here and it's about body awareness and it's about women. Mm -hmm. All women, about women for women. Um, that's going to be the first film of the night. We have the second film. Uh, it's going to be produced by Rose Warner, Ben Clairvaux, called Robin's Glove. Mm -hmm. that I was there. I was on set for yes. part of that. One day I was on set for that. Yeah. yeah. We shot for three days for the 168-hour yeah, film you were there festival. Too. <laughs> yeah, I was there. It was uh, hilarious. Uh, I was a line producer on that on that um, film, and I was I was very excited about it. Andrew Sosa was the director, um, and it was it was very exciting. We're going to be able to watch the. I think it's 11 minutes, 12 minutes long, and we're going to be able to watch the final cut. And um, on the third on the third film, we have. The Abnormals uh, with Joey Weisler, the creator, and uh, Ben Clairvaux, the producer. I think Tommy O'Brien's in that too. Tommy O'Brien yeah. is in it. I don't know if he's in this particular episode that okay. is showing, but he's part of it from the get-go. Mm -hmm. He has been part of it uh, with Joey Weisler, uh, giving him advice and everything. You know, Tommy's great. Yeah. So um, I we're we're sad that he is in Atlanta, but. It's almost we, like he's here because he's here. He comes down for all kinds of stuff all the time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> great. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I never see him at the film carpet, but that's awesome yeah. that he comes yeah. uh, when, when down he a lot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we also have um, on the fourth, the fourth film of the night is something that I uh, produced in partnership with Vivian, in association with Vivian Orozco. She was the producer and director for a short film called Voices. Um, the DP was uh, Roger Prihoda. We had Lori Smith working with us in the team as a sound engineer. And it was great. It's about women empowerment as well. Um, and for the film, for the fifth fil film, we have Scott Na Nar. I think I'm pronouncing it cor correctly. And he is a graduate from the Art Institute, just the the school that I attended. Um, and he basically he put a he put a film together. It's like seven eight minutes. It's called Werewolf, and it's very you know it's it's great for the horror edition because mm -hmm. to be honest, it's either about women empowerment or about horror because it's in October, right? Uh -huh. So we have that, and then we have Naki Cower with his film Breach. So those are the five filmmakers, and I have the poster on the film carpet uh, page. Uh, I have all the posters. If you go to the pictures, I also have uh, an event called Film Carpet 5.0 that is public. It's open to the public on Facebook. You can attend. And when you click attend, you're going to receive all the notifications on what's happening. We have um, different filmmakers showcasing their trailers. Uh, we have Bill Hoffman, Lauren McGarrett. We have uh, Shield Filmworks uh, with Pappas and, and Christopher Stoltz. Um, we also have, um, you know... What else? What else do we have? We we have a, a lot of a lot of trailers showcasing. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be um, announcing them tonight. All the people that are showcasing their trailers. We have Robert Adanto with the F word. He's also bringing his trailer to the okay to the film great. festival. So we have six trailers that are showcasing. Great. So that's great. That's wonderful. and then we have a raffle at the end of the night. Um, cinema party. So it's kind enough. You you know we are giving tickets away. Like we're giving tickets here, and then if you go to Cinema Paradiso um, and the the night of the event, Cinema Paradiso is actually giving ten tickets away for film for for the film festival for for Fliff. So if you're there that night, you're gonna have access to those raffle tickets. You're going to have access to the raffle tickets for another prize sponsored by Maps Three Hundred Five, and then you're gonna have raffle tickets for another prize sponsored by Alexander Bello Productions. So uh -huh. we have a lot of interesting prizes and we're going to be announcing them tomorrow. Great. Yes. I was just thinking, there's another film. I'm trying to think of uh, what time it's showing. There's a film that Jeff Freeman is doing that uh, Bill Graffay mm -hmm. is in. And he was on the cover of my last issue. Mm -hmm. And um, he's up in North Carolina right now. But he's going to be in a film. And I, I can't pronounce it. like the cask of... Amontillado, or it's um, it's a uh, Edgar Allan Poe mm -hmm. story, and mm -hmm. that's going to be showing. And Bill Graffay is in it. Oh, nice! Usually he's behind the camera. Usually he's directing. So I'm anxious to see that too. There's just so, so many things going on, and um, I forgot to mention that Ed Harris is also going to be in two films mm -hmm. that are going to be showing at the film festival: um, the Adderall Diaries on November 20th, 
-hmm. and Flash of Green on November 21st, directed by Victor Nunez, who's going to receive a, an award. It's the first year they've done it. It's called the Florida Prize for a Florida film pioneer. Oh, nice. And so they're, they're showing that film, and Ed Harris will be here for both films. Amazing. So, there's a lot of stars that you get no, a chance to meet. I, I am so excited. I, yeah. I hope that I get to interview some of them. I also forgot from Film Carpet, we also have, uh, they have their film opening on December the 6th, right? Uh, Which, Jerome Anthony Larkin. Oh, uh, for the love and, for No, no, for Love and Contempt. Yes. They yes, have yes, their yes. trailer showcasing a right. film carpet and they have their premiere before the year ends. Yes. So, you know, that's something that is happening this year as well. Mm -hmm. And you know that Rose Warner is going to have a kickoff for, uh, kick off for a new festival that she's putting together for the South Florida talent. So that's something I'm going to be talking about a little more in December. Okay. But it looks very interesting. Okay. Great. I'm going to be working on, uh, in January, I'm already planning ahead, I'm going to be involved in Magic City, which is, um, it's kind of like Comic-Con. Mm -hmm, and it's, mm -hmm. we're going to be showing short films this time. Last time I was involved with Super Geek Film Festival in July. Yeah, now I'm going to be doing the short film festival, which they do, they've been doing at least, I forgot how many years that they've been doing it. But um, Kurt Donathan has asked me to do that again with him. This is the first time I'm doing Magic City. But this is short films that mm -hmm. we'll be doing. And I will be doing some seminars involve some panels that I'll be running at that film festival. And that will be at the, uh, in Miami Beach at the convention center again in January 15th, 16th, and 17th. So save the date for that. So I'll be doing that. And I don't know all the details yet, but I will be, if you find me on Facebook, you can always email me on there and I can tell you more details about it. Yes, find Rachel on Facebook, Rachel Galvin. Remember to follow her magazine on Facebook as well, Independent yes. Streak Magazine. And remember to follow Film Carpet. We have a page and we have an events page for, for 5.0, but we have a regular page. So when we're not hosting events, you can still connect with us through the page Film Carpet on Facebook and you can find us on Twitter. And, you know, you can follow the mother of all those little projects, basically, which is me, AVP TV. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook as Alexandra Bello Productions. And we can connect. Remember, connecting is very important. Networking is very important. Thank you so much for being here, Rachel. Yes, thank you. And thank you all for listening. Big hug. I'm Alexandra Bello, and this was Artistic <laughs> Times. You have been listening to Alexandra Bello from Alexandra Bello Productions and Artistic Times Radio. Join us every Tuesday at 7.30 and get informed in the world of artists, celebrities, musicians, writers, and more on the Red Carpet Fashion Show. Join us next week for more Red Carpet Treatment of Artistic Times. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and colleagues.